Sean Clancy from Hummingbird Australia, and I'm going to take you through Chirp Sonar. That's the latest buzzword in sonar technology. Chirp stands for Compressed High Intensity Radar Pulse. And basically, instead of sending a single frequency down through the water column, it's sending an array of frequencies. But what's most important is understanding exactly what your unit is, is chirping and what it's doing, and the ability to turn it on and off and manipulate your frequencies. So I'm going to take you through that right now. So the unit we're looking at now is the Helix G2N Mega Imaging Unit. Um, we've got full chirp in Mega Imaging. The first thing I'm going to show you is that we're showing our bandwidth of chirp in the bottom. So we're running, at the moment, we're running between um, 11.50 and 12.75. If we go to our other sonar technologies, we can see also on the bottom of this screen, um, we're running the same in um, our down imaging. And in standard sonar, we're chirping 175 to 225. What we can do in the menu system with these units is actually change the bandwidth in which we're running. In certain circumstances, um, slightly moving that frequency bandwidth will improve your overall signal strength and, um, and picture on your screen. So if we go into the main menu, we go across to setup, and down the bottom here, we can see chirp configuration. If we arrow across there, we can see here we have the ability to turn 2D chirp mode on or off, down image chirp mode on or off, and side image chirp mode on or off. The other thing we can do is play around with the frequency spectrum. So if I arrow across on that, this is where I can change the low end of our standard sonar. So we might want to move that up to 85. And then the high end of that spectrum we can drag down. And we can do the same with the high frequency chirp, we can manipulate it. So it's very important to be able to do this because you'll find in different conditions, different water types, um, a different frequency spectrum will work a lot better. We can also do the exact same thing with our down image through all the down image frequencies, 455, 800, right through to mega imaging. And the same with our side imaging. We can go we can adjust our 455, our 800, and our mega imaging chirp bandwidth range. We can also turn it on and off whenever we want. One of the advantages of chirp sonar is being able to look at a broader bandwidth of frequency. A standard unit, say 200 kilohertz, it's sending down 200 kilohertz down and back to the boat. What a chirp frequency does is it'll send down, in our case, it'll send down 175 to 225 kilohertz. So it's giving you the, a better ability to see more targets, fish, bait fish, and also better target separation through your structure. For more information, talk to your TM or 1300 BLA Sales.